And so the dogs start running. Or freezing. Rather. In this one. <laughs> it's kind of funny that they would be freezing. Because this is a cold, cold game, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the temperatures are starting to get in the Americas. Because it's now spooky November. As everything has been in the year 2020. I am, of course, your host today, Seth Trav, on the Daylight Savings Time, the good one where you gain an hour of sleep, uh, getting ready to do a fresh stream of a game I know uh, just a little something about. Oh, look at that puppy pick up pace. Look at that. That bodes well for the load. It's nice that that's, that that's their loading. A little gnarly, though, to to be in it this long for a first time game play stream can you tell I'm dragging out my words trying my best here we go Kulu Knights Timberline Studio the Red Lantern automatically saves your game as you play. Please do not turn off the game while this symbol is displayed. It's that puppy we saw uh, freezing up. Uber and Uber. And here he is again. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Red Lantern. Not Atrocious. Atrociacaucus. Uh, from the Green Lantern series. But the Red Lantern, the game about uh, going to find yourself doing the Iditarod. Uh is as far as I understand it. Uh, I'm Seth Trav, as I said. Sunday morning stream, Daylight Savings. Uh, first time I'm playing this one. So, yeah. Do you have those moments that just stick out in your mind? A few. Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor but that didn't take rarely does I can still hear him you know this this just isn't for you but I knew what they meant this just isn't you huh that's probably not a problem for you is it buddy oh puppy knows world's best pup and friend chaser of squirrels smeller of city streets and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, Good boy. I, I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Ha <laughs> ha. You would be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. She probably watched the road. Just a bit. From how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go to as a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Okay. Oh, hey! We just passed mile marker 32! So, the ad said Did that just we? after the mile marker, there would be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Ooh. -hoo. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Huh. And you can't carry the sledding gear on your own, even if you think you can. Huh. There you go, pup. Good boy. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? Huh. They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless. Oh. Being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Oh, puppy. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure. And I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good. For both of us. That's true. Right. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, 
You want to hook up with us, cuz? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. <laughs> Shall we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? Uh... Slippers? Hey, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. Yeah. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Okay. Dear God, your eyes are blue. They're brighter than the sky. Stilton? Stilton. You don't seem to miss a thing. You're keeping a constant watch. Ho ho. Everything that goes on, huh, old boy? You're supposed to be retired, but it sounds like you've been keeping tabs on the pups and leading their training runs. Uh. I know some pups that would love to have you around. You got one more in your cousin? So, meet the team. I think we're a pretty great bunch. You should have fun here. You've got like a cold fire in those eyes. People shouldn't give up on you so quickly. But I guess some people get obsessed with crushing the competition and they don't see the value of a well-rounded team. We can't all be speedsters or beasts. Sometimes you need a pup who can let you know when you're steering the team into trouble. Or a moose. I hear moose are mm -hmm. bears, is that true? Mm -hmm. I love how every dog is a metaphor for her life. We're out here to become a real dog musher and, you know, hopefully one day win a race or two. How's that sound? Uh. I feel like I lost myself back in the city. I need to know I can accomplish a dream. Yeah. Glad to have you, Stilton. I don't know what the ride is going to be like, but... We're definitely gonna have an adventure. Heck yeah, pup. I'm not sure if I'm picking you based on your skills or just because I can't pass up a pup, but I am very excited about this team we've put together. We have six stops to go. Seems we like. We need to adopt two more dogs. Six stops to go. Okay, so I can say now. Noodle. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who would listen to you too. Mm. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Uh, let's see. You still like to run, right? I promise we'll still get plenty of rest. <laughs> you look ready for snugs. Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Mmm. Nudes looks like he wants to sleep. We're gonna let you sleep, Nudes. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs, and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. I like this wise old man. I like this energetic... Bodega. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Uh... Yeah, it sounds like you're gonna... You look cool, cuz, but Take you, care, you seem like you're gonna eat a lot. We're starting a new life. We have to be a little bit picky. I want to make sure we have a well-rounded team. So we've got four more stops to find our last two pups. That should work. I think I'm doing this right. Slayer. Slayer? I'm just gonna come a little closer to get a good look at ya. Never mind, I will stay right Ooh. here. How does that sound? Looks like you might need some time to get to know me. I get it, your family did say you're a bit skittish. Are you really afraid of balloons? Yeah, I've got some weird fears too. I mean, they're totally rational. I think it's just good sense to be afraid of manhole covers. You can fall in. Bad stuff could come out. That's clearly the beginning of the end. Okay, well, that's not exactly why I moved huh. out here. But I don't think I have to worry about manhole covers anymore. And it sounds like you're very fast. I suppose knowing when and how to escape when you're afraid of everything is a perfectly fine skill. 
Hmm. Hmm. We're not looking to run from anything. I mean, we have to, we might, but we're here to face it all, to see what we're really made of. Well, Slayer, what do you think? Hmm. I like the name. Slayer, if you're ready, I am too. Welcome to the van, Slayer. Team, say hi. <laughs> you're just a big sweetheart. With a name like Slayer, people know not to mess with you, huh? <laughs> We're on our way to our new home, and you look very much ready for the journey. You might be put in positions that are a bit scary back there. I'm not quite sure what we'll see, but that's what this adventure is for me, too. Right, puppy. I needed to know what I was actually capable of. We'll have to find our balance. Strike when we need to, and more importantly... No one to run. And I think you'll find you're stronger than you expect. Huh. I wonder if my dogs are gonna We're do a lot of deciding for me. Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. Yeah, that's right. Where's Balto? Ooh. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? One that digs. Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. I like that. Are Fine stuff. Found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well, gonna need a tracking dog. Way out there, we might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, it'd be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. It's probably important that I yes. try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. Yes, it is, I think. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn. Okay. We now have our puppy, Katet. Hey, team. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do. Except <laughs> for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, yeah. You like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes on my bed and is using them as a pillow. Oh, good. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but... Just like you have us. a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. <laughs> We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to... well... wherever. Uh. Let's see what the world has out, out there. there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen, but if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised and do my best to adapt to what's in front of me. We'll follow you to the surprises we need, because we all know we'll need food once we set up our new spot. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? I'm yeah. Happy to have you, Finn. Yeah, pup. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Aw. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually. But I will accept a cautious sniff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chomper. You have to take it slow, too, okay? She's not ready for you. Your lack of personal boundaries. Oh, jeez. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here. Team building dog sledding game. To head out to our new home. Timberline Studios presents The Red Lantern. Dun, 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 dun. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margo said to travel to the end of the road and then hop on the sled and travel a few days more. Travel. Her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door. Oh. She gave us this map. Okay. So not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. 
Interesting. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. I wonder if this is like open world kind of thing or if I'm just on like a, yeah. like a rail. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team. Huh. This looks great already. Ready? Slayer, Finn, Stilton. And the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started. But uh. We have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Huh. Two pieces of raw meat. Okay. You perhaps can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail. But I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. It's true. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. No. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun. What is that? A couple of bullets. Just in case. I scrounged up an old we'll gun. What we have. We can use them to hunt or what? keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. All oh, right, she's American. After all, you just find guns. Bears, moose, wolves, skunks. I feel like skunks are going to be a big oh, part of this game. And most importantly, we've got one med pack. I should be able okay. to bandage us up if something happens. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Mush. Uh, mush on. <laughs> Whew. Do I steer them? It doesn't seem like. Oh, you're a little bit. Now here, we don't say left and right. We use oh. A for left and G for right. So, let's go. Uh, left. Ha. Ha. On the trail, you will run into encounters. Encounters have risks, but also bring rewards. You won't survive without exploring, but going into encounters costs hunger. This is your hunger meter. Oh God, the thing that looks like a gut or a spleen uh, or an intestine. Uh, if your hunger meter is empty, you need to eat soon or risk death. Is that a squirrel up there? Why is it running so... Oh, it's a weasel. Check it out. Weasel. I can only see a tree. Huh. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. Haunt it. You're perfect just as you are. What? Oh, you did that on purpose! What? What do I do? Well, that worked up an appetite. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my hunger when I venture off. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. All right, let's mush on. What? Okay. Okay, these are examples of trail markers. You will run, your run will end if you cross a trail marker with either your hunger meter or your dog's energy meter is empty. Huh. Okay, interesting stuff. Finn, what do you smell, girl? There's something worth checking out up there? Follow Finn. What you tracking, girl? Oh, Finn, get out of there! Oh no! <sighs> Previous owners warned us. But hey, you uh. followed your nose, and it could have been something amazing. We'll try again sometime. Poor Papa. We got skunked. I'm back. Let's be safe out there. Alright, now how do I feed my dogs? And myself. My god. I know it didn't work out this time, Finn, but. I trust what you can find. You've got a nose that shows you far more than I can see. And you're probably used to smelling like skunk by now. Ah. Uh, think. There we go, right? Let's rest. 
Yeah, we'll rest right near this marker. We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears, and we mm -hmm. can make fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Uh, here you can eat meat, filling your hunger meter. You can use a dog bowl to feed your dogs, filling their energy. God, my puppy is licking my feet like crazy right now. Ha <laughs> ha. If you hear the loose sound of licking, that's what it is. It's puppy. Food time. Chow down, pups. Feed them puppy dogs. Okay. Yeah, that's all I can do. I need food. Okay, fire pit. Fire would be nice. Start fire. At least I'm well practiced in fire starting. Good, good, good. Now, I cook. I'm ready to cook some food. My meat. Good. Good stuff. Uh. Pet. Ready for pets, Barkley? Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. You pet the dog. Get out there. I don't mind you found a skunk. I trust you, Finn. You can trust me. But you still smell a little. Aww. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's okay, skunky puppy. Moose Slayer. Pets, pets, pets. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, this game is everything I needed. Uh, let's pet you, Stallion. You wise. You keeping a lookout for all of us? Yeah. Good protecting. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to distract you too much, but I think it's time for some good old pets. Yeah, good old pets. Yeah, Maybe pets. Some of these. A bit of a scratch here. Good. Good, good puppy. And a pet, my boy. Ah, oh, come here, buddy. Yeah. Nice. Go to sleep. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? Yes. Let's nap time. All right, everyone feeling better? Finn? What is that? Did you take my beanie? It kind of looks like you did. Oh my god. Are you comforted by my scent? Huh. Because I think you're thinking about being my friend. Uh. Okay. Well, uh, I'll need that hat back before we go running, but you can keep it for now. Well, that's nice. Okay. I suppose we, uh, get back on the trail. Back on the trail? Ethan, I'm gonna need my beanie back now. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, let's mush on. Yeah. Wiggle and wiggle. This is interesting because it feels kind of like it's just on. Oh, great. A squirrel. Huh. Please don't see a chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Uh. Fine, let's check it out. I see, could use more meat. He's just living his life. Uh, he seems unperturbed by us, pups. Chomper, you, on the other hand, seem very. Perturbed. Hmm. Is this your nemesis? Wait, did it just wink? This is his nemesis. Uh, I speak wink. I'm gonna wink back. I can't speak squirrel with my mouth. I'll try with my eyes and wink. Did I just say that out loud? You are really starting to lose yourself out here. I don't think I said what I thought I said. Oh, it seems mad. Are you mad? Oh my god! <laughs> what kind of insane squirrel are you? 
chopper, it's okay. Let's just get out of here. I've been injured? I'll lose the run if I get another injury? Wow. And why did I go out there? Neat. Let's be safe out there. Okay. Yeah, let's... Let's get a mush on. Does squirrels have rabies? Do I have rabies? Yeah, they have rabies. The mouth. Wait, nope. Just my lips freezing over. I think I prefer rabies. Oh, look at that. An elk. It's so majestic. Ooh. Okay, Slayer, you're looking a little more skittish than normal. Uh, Wait, yeah, we need to check, check this out. out. Slayer, you can't just run from it. Okay, fine. We'll leave this one. But you <gasps> have to face your fear sometime. Wow. Okay. I can't go kill an elk because of this dog. Hey, those look like a birch up ahead. We could use those to start a fire. Yeah, let's do that. Are you both birch? I did not learn the hmm. proper mnemonic devices for tree recognition. Well, Margo told me to rip off the bark from birch, and only one of these looks to have rippable bark, and the others are supposed to be aspen. Huh. I think. They don't burn as well, but they look a lot like birch from afar. I'll consider myself lucky we have both here. Okay, cool. Good. Thank God. Dear God. I identify. <laughs> it's to be like paper. Come here. Okay, so that looks up an appetite. But hey, we're not gonna freeze. Good, yeah. We should get out of here. This birch will really help. No, we gotta... Let's go, Chomper. I gotta get a med pack. I think I gotta eat, right? But I don't have any food. Let's rest. Yes, good God. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. I'm about to die. Shouldn't have rested. Patch myself up. Uh. Fire would be nice. Check it out. Birch bark works wonders for starting fires. Start up that fire. Pet my dog. You can't keep running from things, but at some point you have to face your fears. Know what you're up against. Okay, I'll stop telling you what you know. Huh. How about some scratches? Good. Good puppies. Um. Is there a way to find food? I can't, like. Oh my god. I'm not ready for the long sleep. I'm gonna die. I need to eat. Or I don't think I'll wake up. How do I. Back on the trail? Find food. Okay. Ben, I'm gonna need my beanie back now. Yeah, I might lose. Thanks, buddy. I think we're done here. Let's go. I'm thinking I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna starve to death out here. Which is neat. Oh, now what? Ha! Oh. I'm, um, I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. You starved. <laughs> Huh. Huh. Uh, uh. Oh, wow. Okay, well, at least I have an idea of what could happen to me out there. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh... Okay. We need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? Okay, I just have to be prepared. And huh. the world is on my side. As you play, you will make interesting discoveries. Pet an elk. At the end of the run, these will be added to your journal. Your journal packing list details the food, wood, bullets, and med packs you start each run with. As you make more discoveries and become more prepared, you start future runs with more resources. Interesting. Okay. The squirrel. Look up if squirrels actually have rabies. 
imagine the new neighbors you'll have and all the beauty that you'll see. See, packing list is four bullets and three food. Okay, cool, so you pack more bullets and more food because that's what you need. Okay, and then you have to encounter all these different things and you check them off. Um, one who is never lost, never found. <laughs> okay, successfully identified a birch trait. Yeah, that was me. Hanging with my fluffy friends. Um, I spotted those, I think. Yes. Gotta look up if squirrels actually have rabies. Get dogs, get sled, go to Alaska, finish dog sled race. Go to Alaska, hop on the sled supplies. Interesting, very, very interesting. So what do you say? Huh, cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the game, it looks like. Uh, it's the Red Lantern. Uh, I've been Seth Trav. This has been very interesting. Um, I'm excited to keep playing more, keep enjoying the time with the puppies. Um, let me know what you think down here or over on Twitter. I'm at Seth Trav. Uh, be sure to hit that sub for love because it's the only way I survive. Uh, and I got to remind you guys to always practice what you preach.